Welcome to the wonders of chemistry, the science behind stain removal. We know that there is no fixed remedy for any stain and different stain removers work differently on varying stains. There may be surface stains where the staining substance is trapped in the fibers or pores of the material. There may be a chemical reaction between the staining substance and the material or there may be a molecular attraction between the staining substance and the material. To find the right solvent, one needs to understand the science behind it to answer why some stain removers work well for certain types of stain and not on others. Polarity, size and solubility of molecules in the stain and the stain removal solution determine if a stain can be removed. The general rule is like dissolves like. For example, organic solvents dissolve organic substances while water, being inorganic, dissolves inorganic substances. Since water molecule has a bent polarity, water can also dissolve other polar molecules and ionic compounds. This afternoon, Jane and I will try to remove ink, blood, coffee, and oil stains using milk, salt solution, lemon juice, and tap water. Now sit back and relax and let's see what happens. Water is considered a universal solvent. However, stains are made up of several constituents of different chemical nature. Using water, the ink stain was unchanged and the oil stain spread further. The pigment ink used was heavy oil-based and since it is more soluble in oil and had non-polar bonds, the ink stain would not dissolve in water, which is highly polar. The same reason goes for the oil stain which is non-polar bond. Tap water removes some of the blood stain and coffee stain. Blood has compounds which are polar and other compounds which are non-polar. Those polar compounds were dissolved by the water. Coffee has water-soluble and acidic-soluble substances, hence the water-soluble parts of the coffee stain was washed off by the tap water. Milk was the only solvent we used which removed a large portion of the ink stain. 
the fat components in the milk responsible for dissolving the oil-based pigment ink with its non-polar bonds. Milk also removed some of the blood stain but left a yellow-brown discoloration. In the case of blood, the rust-colored stain is due to iron oxide. The phosphates found in milk displace the oxides and form iron phosphate, which is colorless. In this instance, however, the mass of the stain is still in the fibers of the fabric and washing with water and detergent will further wash off the remaining stain. Milk also removed most of the coffee stain since the water-soluble portion of the coffee stain was dissolved by the polar components of milk. The oil stain was unchanged despite the presence of non-polar components in both milk and oil. Salt solution was the most successful among the four solvents in removing the blood stain. Salt breaks down and removes the protein in blood and then promotes the lifting action of the rest of the stain once it is rinsed off. Salt solution removes only as much coffee stain as tap water did and this is explained by the polar bonds in both salt solution and the water soluble component of coffee stain. Salt solution left both ink and oil stains unchanged as one would expect since both of these stains are oil based. Lemon juice removed the most coffee stains among the four solvents. Lemon juice contains lemon oil, water, and acids, the most prominent of which is citric acid. Both the acid-soluble and water-soluble components of the coffee stain were removed by the components of lemon juice. Lemon juice, however, left unchanged the oil, ink, and blood stain. To recap, ink stain was best removed by milk, blood stain by salt solution, and coffee stain with lemon juice. None of our solvents removed the oil stain. To completely remove any remaining stains, complete your wash using detergent. These have surfactants, which have both polar and non-polar ends, and will help emulsify previously insoluble compounds. It is also prudent to remember that some stains become fast in some fabrics, when warm water is used, while others are more easily removed in warm water. So next time you have a difficult stain, think, like dissolves like. Consider polarity, size and solubility of molecules, and make removing those stains easier.